Hey guys, I wanted to make this video just to kind of explain my workflow for uh, this bottom part. I know this was confusing and I got uh, some comments that um, it wasn't clear how I made uh, this bottom round part around the helmet. So this is the low res version of the helmet. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to show you the curves that I used. And here are the curves that I made. So using the uh, images uh, that I had, I made uh, some curves based on the images and you can see if we look from different views uh, what I tried to do so I tried to line them up to as best I could to the reference and then I had to guess a little bit uh, and then what I did was I just made a simple loft so I'm I would select this curve then this one you have to select the order like this once you have them selected uh, you can go into the uh, surfaces uh, a shelf and here you have a loft you can use if you double click it uh, there's a couple options here so when I reset uh, the loft this is what you would see normally but you can skip uh, go into NURBS and you can go directly to polygons so you have to set a couple settings first set the epigeometry geometry to polygons we want to make sure we're using quads and the tessellation method we're going to set to general this will give us control over exactly how the polygons will be made so i'm going to set this to uh, per span of isoforms you can leave it to 3d it doesn't really matter so if we give it to this one and then set this to one or you can just drag and click apply it'll make this very rough uh, very uh, low res geo but you have your uh, NURBS tessellate options here under the inputs and then you can grab uh, the U number and drag it you can grab the V number and drag it as well like that and then you'll have the shape you want now you might have to adjust uh, some of the things here like I had to go in and uh, readjust some of these uh, loops so I went in and just kind of First, I deleted half because there's no reason to work on two. And there's something you can do to help you adjust these without having to um, move each vertex. And for this, I use lattices. I use lattices a lot. So here, I'm just going to double click this uh, loop here and click my uh, lattice icon. Uh, I just made a button on the shelf. You can keep doing this to all of your loops that you want to adjust. Okay, so that's good. Then in the outliner, I'm going to select just the lattice points, just the lattice shapes here. I'm going to uh, press F9. This will take me directly into lattice points, and then I can just move them like that to match reference. Make sure you see that. So you can see I can adjust each uh, curve separately without having to move the vertices from each curve. simple as that and for this you can uh, keep the curves where they are and adjust just the outside lattice points and that way you can stretch it to meet your curve shape Then all we have to do is reverse it. So we can go to mesh display, click reverse, or you can make an icon. And then we can duplicate it, scale it negative, and then combine and merge. There we go. There. 
also that's the way I made the, uh, the part on the bottom and to make uh, this part and uh, this was probably the most challenging part but the way I did that was once I had the whole helmet uh, done or not the whole helmet the um, the nose part done all I did was extrude so if I, I'm just gonna get this out and quickly show you how I did this So once I had this created, this is pretty simple to do. All I did was select the loop here. And extruded it. Like that. And same thing. Make a lattice. That way you can deform it. And what I did was, I tried to match this shape. So once I have this actually uh, extracted it, that way it's easier to work on. So I can uh, click extract. I, keep in. I have a different setup of works, so I never remember. everything is I should probably just make it the same okay like this now I can see it easier also don't need to work on two and then just start shaping uh, this area and here you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit you have to figure out where the lines uh, the points are gonna end up so if it's here it's gonna be here is it's could be lower or higher so you have to kind of you might have to do this a couple times until you get it right and then from this angle uh, as long as you don't move it vertically like this uh, anything if you move it in Z this won't change so this will keep lining up so all you have to do here is move it just in Z and this had I had to look at a lot of reference to figure out how this is supposed to look but it's got this weird shape there Okay, so then uh, continue at the bottom, and then to make that bulbous shape uh, here, I use the lattice again. And so for this, we'll need extra loops. Let's do, let's see if this three is enough. Yep, three seems enough. So it was flat there, but then it started to kind of come out on the sides here. So for that, again, lattice. Select this, and then we can uh, create a lattice over that curve. Now, uh, one thing about the, uh, the lattice tool: if you, I want to make sure that you guys know the settings for it. It's under uh, the form and lattice right here. So if you reset it, it looks like this. So what I do is I set this to two, and I set this to thirty that and hit apply now when you do that it's going to save your settings next time you press lattice you'll remember and then same thing select the uh, lattice points or the lattice shapes here now if you press f9 and no uh, points are selected or not and none are available to select just come back up here and click this uh, on and off because it it remembers vertices and lattice points are not vertices so it doesn't show them to you so then we can drag these down, create that 
good shape. Alright, so one step I missed, I needed to make a vertical uh, division in T. This way I can control the upper part separately from the bottom. See how it's angling down a little bit now? So for, to fix this, I can select this part and just bring it up. And then this, bring that up, bring this up. And I'm looking at the way the lines are going, I'm trying to make sure they're flowing in the right direction. And then from the side, same thing. We can't move it uh, in. Z because I will change it. See? So we need to move it now in X. Let's see if this doesn't change here. And there it is. So a little more fine tuning, and you guys get the idea. Alright, so uh, just a short video. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. I am working on the Rocketeer helmet. Hopefully that will be done soon. haven't had much time recently. But uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.